Hey, I'm Dashroll Rush, and this is my Game of the Year Countdown. These 2010 celebrations are a special one for me. Not because it's my first time making this type of video, it's not, but because this is the first almost full year of me Let's Playing. It was January 5th of this year that I first sat down behind my camera to record my first Let's Play, Darksiders. Since then, I've played 13 more games as they've come out, and put them on the internet for all to see. So, instead of making a top 5 or a top 10, what I'll be doing is counting down every new game I've played this year. Now, you might have noticed that there was a part 1 in the title of this video. That's because I'm not going to do all of this in one shot. Once a day, from now till New Year's Eve, part of the countdown will be going up to the channel. But I've wasted enough time explaining. So let's get started with... Number 14, Jet Rocket. Honestly, I was a little disappointed in this game. It was too easy, too short, too bland, and too expensive. I heard that this would be WiiWare's breakout platformer, and frankly, there are games on Newgrounds that I'd rather play over this one. I honestly could say that this is the only bad game on this list. Number 13, Bit Trip Runner. This game, like another one on this list, is an immensely fun game dragged down by frustration. Bit Trip Runner puts together the rhythm and platform genres and wraps them up in a bright, stylish package with a great soundtrack. It's got all the right ingredients, but they put in a little too much kick. As in, this game will kick your ass in the later levels. Number 12, Pearl Harbor Trilogy 1941 Red Sun Rising. <sighs> Out of all the games on this list, this one has the longest title. Now, this surprised me most in terms of quality. When I bought this game on WiiWare, it was a spur-of-the-moment thing. There was some downtime in between other games, and I heard this one was coming out, and I was already interested in a flying game. So I bought it, and what I bought was well worth the money. Coming with two campaigns and plenty of extras, Red Sun Rising, I'm not going to list the whole title here again, is one of the best WiiWare games out there. Flying your planes is intuitive with either motion or classic controls, and the game's missions are very well crafted. If you're looking for a cheap flight, this is a game I can easily recommend. And that's the end for day one. Because today was special, you know, being Christmas and all, you got three today, but you'll only be getting two a day until the list is done from now on. Until tomorrow, have a Merry Christmas, and for the rest of you, Happy Holidays, and for the Atheists, just enjoy the season, okay? Remember, join in tomorrow for the next two games on the countdown.